Hi, kitty cats. Today is July 3rd, 2024, and I got a phenomenal comment on the video. Uni7 asks, if genitals don't define gender, how does removing them affirm it? Now, I suspect the question was intended to be snarky, but I can answer it readily. In fact, I want to take it even further and ask, if gender isn't defined by our body, why does gender-affirming care focus on the body? Okay, so a definition is incoming. Identity is a complex of physical, cognitive, and behavioral characteristics, all of which are expressed in context of a social environment. I had a lot of big words there. What I mean is identity is how we look, how we feel, and how we act, all of which are influenced by where we live and the people around us. Gender is a facet of identity. It's our outgoing expression of what we find beautiful about humanity. It's expressing beauty in body, mind, and soul. Changing one component of the identity complex will affect the others. Like a bad hair day can make you feel irritable, or being around your family might affect your emotions a bit. So to answer the question, since gender identity is a complex, our physicality is one component of it. But our physicality is not the defining characteristic. By aligning our physical aspects with our sense of beauty, using hormone therapy or gender-affirming surgery, we affect the other characteristics of gender identity, including a sense of comfort and calmer behavior. And that is why removing genitals that don't align with our sense of beauty affirms the entire complex of gender identity. So I hope that helps, Uni7. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!